Hey everybody, welcome back to the Elon Musk podcast. This is a show where we discuss the critical crossroads that shape SpaceX, Tesla, X, The Boring Company, and Neuralink. And I'm your host, Will Walden. X, formerly Twitter, is financially backing Chloe Happ in a legal action against her previous employer, Block, founded by Jack Dorsey, who also established Twitter, now known as X. Happ asserts she was unfairly dismissed from expressing her opinions on X through a uh, pseudonym satirical account outside of work hours. Elon Musk on X expressed his support for the lawsuit, emphasizing supporting your right to freedom of speech. Now, the lawsuit arises from two specific posts made by Hap on her anonymous account. The first post uh, referenced the movement of refugees from Gaza to Kurdistan following attacks on October 7th while the second included derogatory language aimed at transgender individuals in the context of discussing a gender-neutral restroom. Now, Hap maintains these posts were satirical and did not directly mention her employer, Block. Block's acquisition of these posts and the company's decision to terminate Hap's employment form the crux of this dispute. Hap alleges that despite Block's policy seemingly supporting free speech, she was dismissed without severance for sharing views contrary to the company's stance a move she argues was against the company's own guidelines. Now, seeking redress, Hap's lawsuit demands her reinstatement at Block and financial compensation for damages, including lost wages. This case is not X's first foray into legal battles championing free speech. Previously, the company supported Gina Carano in her lawsuit against Disney and Lucasfilm, alleging her removal from The Mandalorian was due to her controversial viewpoints. Now, the intertwining of significant tech figures like Elon Musk, Jack Dorsey, and the companies they founded shows that there's a complex um, web here. Um, there's ideologies, relationships, different ways of thinking. And it's all in the tech industry right now. X and Block, they're in a legal battle. Musk's X... By funding Hap's lawsuit, is taking a definitive stance on issues of speech and expression in the workplace. And this shows that there's a bigger debate here. Freedom's in the digital age. Can you speak your mind wherever you are without being let go from your job? Do you have freedom of speech? Or is there language in your contract that doesn't allow you to do this? It's really up to the company and up to the person who signs that contract when they start employment with that company. Now, Hap's assertion that her posts were meant as satire and her subsequent actions, including deleting the content, now uh, it's nuanced. Uh, it's online expression. And now she has potential consequences when personal and professional boundaries intersect. Her insistence on her right to express political satire without workplace repercussion is an important question that we have to ask ourselves. And does it limit expression and employer responses? Oh, we're going to find out with this lawsuit. And this lawsuit also alleges that Block violated his own speech policies by dismissing HAP suggest a possible uh, discrepancy between company guidelines and their applications. Now, this raises broader concerns about how companies interpret and enforce policies related to employee conduct and expression, particularly in cases involving social media. And in this case, a, quote, satirical account. Now, Block's refusal to disclose whether complaints from other employees prompted their investigation into Hap's posts adds another layer of complexity to this case. Um, corporate transparency and the rights of employees to understand the basis of disciplinary action taken against them if they post, quote, satirical content on another website? Well, we're going to have to find out. Uh, what's going to happen in this lawsuit will keep you up to date as well. Now, Hep initially denied these posts, though. Um, they said that they feared repercussions if they were attributed to this. And her later admission, spotlighting the challenges that individuals face when confronted with their online activities, impacts their professional life and their personal life. It raises questions about privacy, identity, and also accountability in the age of digital personas. Now, the support of high-profile figures like Elon Musk for legal actions rooted in free speech concerns signifies a notable intersection of tech leadership and socio-political issues. Musk's public backing of Hap's lawsuit through X positions him and the platform 
within ongoing debates about freedom of expression, freedom of speech, both online and at the workplace. And the legal precedent set by cases like this and the involvement of platforms like X in such disputes could influence future employer employee dynamics concerning free speech. The outcome of this lawsuit may offer insights into how companies craft and enforce policies regarding employees' online expressions in the future, especially when done anonymously or through a pseudonym. Now, the reference to previous cases, such as Gina Carano's lawsuit against Disney, where X also provided support, shows that they're willing to take the step forward and take a big stance on certain free speech issues. This pattern of backing individuals challenging corporate actions perceived as limiting expression suggests a broader strategy by X to align itself with particular values in the public sphere. Now, the complexity of this case, though, involving uh, pseudonyms and online activity, satirical expression, and corporate policy shows that there's challenges out there for companies and for individuals when they're signing that contract. Um, is this free speech? Do you have to manage your speech to keep your job? Um, that's another question we have to ask ourselves. And the boundaries between personal expression and professional responsibilities continue to blur, raising important questions about the rights and obligations of employees and employers alike. The legal and ethical considerations at play in Hap's lawsuit against Block, supported by X, reflect broader societal debates about the nature of free speech. The edit this out. The responsibilities of digital platforms and the impact of personal expression on professional engagements. These issues are increasingly relevant in a world where digital and real life personas intersect, and where the actions taken in one realm can have significant consequences in the other. Now, the outcome of this case could have important implications on how companies navigate the balance between fostering an inclusive workplace and respecting individual rights to free expression and free speech. It also highlights the potential role of social media platforms in supporting users' rights in legal challenges that arise from digital expressions. Now, this lawsuit brought by Clohab against Block with the support of X um, shows that there's an intricate relationship between free speech, employee rights, and corporate policies. It's a reminder of the ongoing challenges and debates surrounding expression in their digital age and who's watching your accounts, especially as it intersects with professional life and corporate expectations. The outcome may offer valuable insights into the evolving landscape of digital expression and the implications for both individuals and organizations. Hey, thank you so much for listening today. I really do appreciate your support. If you could take a second and hit the subscribe or the follow button on whatever podcast platform that you're listening on right now, I'd greatly appreciate it. It helps out the show tremendously and you'll never miss an episode. And each episode is about 10 minutes or less to get you caught up quickly. And please, if you want to support the show even more, go to patreon.com slash stage zero. And please take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you tomorrow.